morning, you guys. If you've never heard of the winter arc before, I actually just recently heard of it, and it's supposed to be the last few months of the year. We are staying motivated. We are staying disciplined. That is because at the end of the year, it is really easy to slack off, especially like Q4, the last three months of the year. It's really easy to just be like, you know what? I will accomplish my goals when the new year comes around. I'm gonna wait for January because it's pretty much right around the corner. Like before you know it, it's gonna be January. So this time of year, people tend to slack off. But the whole concept of like doing or having a winter arc is actually starting your goals and keeping motivated or starting to be motivated now so that by january you're already in the flow of things and you're already in the midst of you know doing what you want to do and basically you just like never fall off you just keep motivated and everything you set new goals for yourself so that is my mentality for the end of the year i don't want to slack off except for obviously around christmas time we all need a good vacation but let's be in our winter arc era together and I'm gonna help you guys stay motivated because it's hard, like especially in the winter months, this is the hardest time of the year. The last three months of the year is the hardest time of the year to actually like stay motivated because it's so easy to just make excuses because January is right, literally three months away. Anyways, the winter arc is supposed to start beginning of October, so a little bit late but kind of right on time let's do this together let's get motivated together and who doesn't love some end of year motivation it's currently 6 a.m now and joel and i are just gonna head to the gym gonna get a workout in even though it's so much harder to do at this time of year it's gonna be done so just put some electrolytes element electrolytes in my water i love these so much they taste so good and they keep me hydrated so <sighs> I'm tired today, not gonna lie, it's the beginning of the week, but this is when you gotta push through and curb the instinctual lazy behavior. You know what I mean. Okay, anyways, let's go to the gym. Um, this is my little workout outfit of the day. I got this lemon white triangle sports bra with these gray Aritzia biker shorts and this beige kind of fall colored scuba. It's like a long zip oversized scuba and it's actually so cozy and comfy that is my little outfit of the day finishing getting myself ready for the day and i put my hair in a sleek back because it is literally so greasy and when it's greasy i just can't stand having my hair down so i put it up one thing i prioritize doing when my hair is sleeked back like this i just feel like my face isn't complete and i'm like girl you're missing something like you need something to spice it up your outfit to spice it up your look and i wanted to show you guys the power of using glasses for fashion take a look at me now i literally have a white tee on and i have my black sweats on plain basic outfit okay now watch how elevated i look when i put a pair of glasses on it takes me from level one to ten like it is so much cuter so i actually got a bunch of new glasses from this brand called zelo if you guys didn't know i actually do have a prescription i have astigmatism i should be wearing glasses every day but i have never like invested in really cute fashionable glasses until they sent me these and i'm like wow i should have done this a long time ago because they're so freaking cute and they just complete my outfit and make me look so elevated so these ones that i have on right now they are not prescription but they are blue lights and i have been wearing these non-stop to go on my computer and they help my eye strain so much they're not even for aesthetic purposes but they actually also work and you could tell that these lenses are such good quality these are so adorable and these are very trendy and in right now just like a plain basic pair of gl black glasses that you can wear with whatever each pair of their glasses comes in a little like really soft case which i love if you need to like throw them in your purse or something but guys 
I actually love these and these are prescriptions so as soon as I put these on the camera went clear and I could actually see myself but look at the tortoise I think it's called or leopard print on these glasses they are so freaking cute and trending right now and you guys know I've been obsessed with this print so put it on glasses and I'll be wearing them 24 7 you can tell that these lenses are such high quality and if you buy like a cheaper pair of glasses the lenses and the prescription can give you like dizziness headaches but these I've been wearing them for the past while now I could tell they're really really good quality Quality, but they're also such a good affordable price sometimes I forget that I'm like half blind and then I put glasses on I'm like wow the world is so much clearer Zelos prescription glasses process is very user-friendly and very professional and instead of going in store to shop you can easily scroll on their website and they have so many cute different styles of glasses on there they're so affordably priced and through doing it through them online they're shorter waiting times and you get premium quality even if you guys don't have a prescription I would definitely recommend getting just the frames for style and fashion or even like I said for blue light I also got these which are also prescription. Oh my god. I actually love these. They are just a classic black pair These ones are a little bit smaller than these ones, but I like how these are very more like square I love them with the sleek back bun. It honestly looks so good. So 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 cute And then I also got these which are a thicker pair. These ones are here to make a statement I love these so much. These are great to be worn on a day where you barely want to be seen I also love the feeling of these frames. They're kind of soft and matte and they feel really cool and they slay. I think I'm gonna go with these today for this outfit. Thank you so much to Zeal for sponsoring today's video. Literally all their glasses are so freaking cute. So make sure to go check out their website and I will have everything linked down below as well as these glasses that I chose. They're literally just the best website to shop a very good quality, so many options, but so affordable. So definitely would recommend. Link will be down below. It is such a gloomy day outside today. Like the house is super, super dark. I don't know if you can tell, probably can't tell because I got some lights on and my computer screen's lighting up the room, but it is such a dark day. This is why you can tend to really slack off in the winter <laughs> and the fall, I guess, but they, those two seasons kind of mesh into one after like one month. The weather just starts to get super gloomy and rainy every day. But this is why like we need to stay motivated and actually like set goals for ourselves and you know have a to-do list every single day when you're working and want to get shit done because once i see weather like this my brain automatically is like oh let's be lazy today let's lounge on the couch today but no because that's going to be literally every day of the winter if i do that so you gotta like stay consistent on your goals you can't lose sight of that so i'm getting some work done today i have some editing to do doing some emails you know the regular but it really is just that type of day where you feel like doing nothing but basically every day of the winter is going to start being like this soon so gotta lock in gotta focus and gotta just like do it regardless and if anything you could kind of see it like in the opposite way we kind of talked about this in our podcast our winter arc episode but you could kind of see it the opposite way where it's like oh it's raining and it's gloomy outside so i don't feel the need to like you know go enjoy the sun and be outside and not work it kind of forces you to stay inside and work so seeing it that way is kind of really good and will make you more productive because in the summer i don't know if you could relate but every time it's sunny outside and i'm not enjoying the sun i feel tremendously guilty i'm not enjoying the beautiful weather so it being gloomy it like incentivizes me to do more work because I don't want to go outside anyways. So changing your perspective about things is like super important. Seeing the winter like that instead of seeing it like, oh shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, do you agree? Do you agree with what mama's saying? But that is a mentality. We gotta have to stay focused and be in our winter arc era and accomplish our goals. So I'm gonna do a bunch of work right now. This is your sign to do it as well. He literally will sit here both of them actually and just watch me edit and sleep and it's literally the cutest thing ever getting cats was like the best decision of our lives i swear hey baby she's so pretty hey guys so i just got myself ready for the day i think joel and i are gonna go grocery shopping within probably the next hour but i washed my hair i gave myself a little blowout i actually recently got a cut so it's just like so much nicer i needed a cut so bad i feel like i actually have been upkeeping getting a cut like every three weeks i mean don't worry about three weeks are you kidding me three months it just makes my hair have some dimension to it instead of just leaving it i asked you guys 
guys in one of my other videos if you think that like putting some highlights in it or dyeing it would be a good idea and a lot of you guys said yeah but i don't know guys i'm still thinking about it so we will see maybe in the new year like new year new me but i'm still on the fence about it just because i literally have trauma from going blonde and it was just so horrible and i know it doesn't have to be like that again but that's why I'm just like so hesitant to do anything to my hair. Anyways, it is such a cozy day today. It, it has been raining. It is cold and gloomy outside. So I'm just wearing a crew neck with some cargos um, just to be comfy while I'm out grocery shopping because I hate not feeling comfy and cozy when I'm out. So yeah, that's the vibe right now. Maybe I'll actually put in a load of laundry before we go. But I also just tackled a bunch of emails this morning because I was behind. So I caught up on that. I'm such a procrastinator. Like I need... I tell myself I'm gonna get better all the time and I don't and it's just hopefully one day praying for myself one day but I'm actually gonna try to make an effort for the second half of the year or the the last half of the year the last three months of the year it's not even the last half of the year it's past that but yeah I just want to like really make an effort to stop procrastinating and that could be part of my winter arc you know one of the things that I want to do and my goals is to just like actually stay on top of my shit and not always push things aside because then they go in the back of my head then i get anxiety worry stress not good so anyways that's the plan <laughs> Here's my ginormous grocery haul. I'm gonna go through this really, really fast because there is a lot. This is like $500 worth of groceries. So over here's the Costco section. Zevia's, Poppy's, like giant cases, bunch of butter, RX bars. I got a big jar of olives, mayo, coffee, tuna, chicken broth, because we're gonna be making a lot of soups this winter and fall. And then this normal grocery store. I got a bunch of spices. I got some Parmesan, basil, gluten-free pasta, baking soda, cream cheese, because I'm gonna make something. Apples, because I've been craving having apples and cinnamon. Tomato paste, I got some cream, gluten-free flour, some sun-dried tomatoes for the soup that I wanna make. Bananas, yams, tomatoes, avocado, and then some pumpkin puree. And that is the massive haul. I literally just cleaned out my my fridge so let's put this all in in the new fridge it feels so much better This girl literally loves, like, look at her. She will sit and lay in the funniest positions. It's actually so hilarious. I think it's her breed because I've seen, like, photos of the Scottish folds, like, doing really funny things. And, guys, the way that she lays half the time is actually comical. Like, her legs are just completely spread half the time. Hey, guys. So, I just got myself ready for the day and changed. How cute is this hat? I just bought it recently. Orange TNA sign with the camo. So cute. I love orange and camo together. And it's just really giving fall. My hair is, I think it's third or fourth, third day hair today. So the hat needed to go on because she just wasn't looking the best. So this is like the perfect 
hat day and then after a hat day you could do a sleep back day and then after that it's like a wash but anyways i'm just wearing this white long sleeve the weather is kind of weird today but it's really really nice it's like windy and it's sunny but it's very crisp temperatures so it's giving a golden crisp fall day which i'm obsessed with and Talia and I are about to record the podcast. I'm just waiting on her arrival. She should be here any minute now. And then we're going to go grab a drink together, come back and record. I think we're going to do an episode on like winter arc slash like winter blues and like what we do to stay motivated and all of that stuff. I haven't really pre-planned anything. So we're just going to see what comes out of the mouth when we start talking. But by the time you see this video, I'm pretty sure that will be uploaded. So go check out our podcast because it's so fun and we love doing it. And I feel like we have a lot of good chit chats on there and you guys can get to know me better. So yeah, just about to record that today. It's currently 1.45. So I was doing some editing all morning and then got ready. I actually did take a little nap because I was so tired today for some reason. And there's just some days where I can't keep my eyes open and I just need to lay down for a bit. And it makes me feel so much better. It's just like a little power nap does the trick. So that was needed today. But yeah, so that's the vibe. Um, this is my whole outfit. Got these jeans on from Garage and they're kind of like cargo style a little bit. I'm probably gonna end up getting like a matcha or maybe a chai. That sounds good because I have not had a chai tea latte. I don't even know when, like the last time I had one was. So I feel like that is, oh my God, I'm sorry. I sound like a broken record, but I feel like that's very fall, you know? So I'm gonna get that for sure. And yeah, so that is a little plan for today. your winter arc is like taking these last like few months of the year and instead of like slowing down on your goals you it's act like grinding on them right like what you're gonna grind out for the end of the year exactly so it's I like i want to make sure because i was like i don't know if i actually fully know what this yes yeah. so instead of starting your goals and waiting for january you start now like this is your winter arc yeah. so that by the time january comes around you're at the top so it's time to set new goals and start new stuff. Yeah, exactly. Point. Because okay, cool. a lot of people tend to slack off at this time of year because we just make the excuse mm -hmm. like it's OK. I'll be fine because January's coming. And then January only ends up really lasting for a month and then everybody falls off their goals. Yeah. So this is more like your winter arc is making it now into a lifestyle. And so that once January rolls around, you're all set, you're all good. And it's just that extra push of motivation that, you know, us girlies need for the yeah. end of the year. We're gonna be in our winter arc era. Yes. Okay guys, I ordered something on Amazon Prime Day. One of them just came in. I got the Laneige lip sleeping mask and my lips have been so freaking dry. And this went on sale. It was only like $20, which is insane because it's usually like $35. So I went on quite a good sale. And I've actually never owned this before. I just want to use this like overnight because it smells so good. Aquaphor is just not doing it for my lips. So I'm just going to keep this by my bedside and make sure to put it on every night because winter is coming and my lips are going to get so dry and they are already getting so dry. So I'm going to use this for nice deep hydration. Also, I picked up a new hobby, coloring, because I want to stay off my phone, especially like when I watch TV, I get so fidgety because I feel like our generation, everybody has ADHD because of how we were raised with social media. Like we're so used to being on our phones and scrolling. And so I placed an order and I got 160 markers and I got a coloring book, a cozy girl coloring book. Everything will be linked to my Amazon storefront, so I'll link it below. But it has been such a soothing hobby and I have been coloring while watching TV and you don't need to be artistic or anything like that. It just calms your mind and it doesn't make a mess like painting and it's just so perfect. I'm obsessed with doing it. I'm just filling out the little marker chart right now and it's just so satisfying and such a good hobby to have for the fall since in the winter months we're indoors way more often and so we probably resort to like you know going on our phones more and just rotting more but I want to keep myself busy and this is a very like meditative hobby which keeps you off your phone so I'm excited because I got on coloring TikTok 
and I just fell in love and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to do this for the winter. Like anything that will help me to stay off my phone. So I'm really excited to start this coloring book. This one's a very simple coloring book, but as I like get better, I'll get like more difficult ones. And yeah, I'm just really excited. I definitely want to just make sure that I am staying on track this season and not just doom scrolling in the winter. Picking up hobbies is so important. Like doing something that doesn't make you money just for fun. It's so important like you're doing it just because you want to do it and because it makes you feel good and I realized I don't really have many things in my life like that so I'm trying to incorporate more things that are gonna bring me joy that don't make me money that are just a passion of mine and that are fun it's something as simple as coloring it's like it gets me off my phone and it's something to do instead of rotting you know and it stimulates my brain it's just such a vibe so anyways i'm in my coloring era which is funny I'm about to go get my nails done this is the before this was the iconic maroon color or deep red and i was debating whether i should just do this again and again until december but i think i'm gonna switch it up a bit and get a dark brown because i feel like i'm just gonna get bored if i keep getting this so i'm gonna do a dark brown it's basically gonna almost look the same <laughs> but still at least something different and they're so grown out i feel like they grew out so fast because it's such like a solid color that you could see it so anyways that's the before Hey guys, so my order came in from garage. I just feel like as part of, you know, being in my winter arc era, I got to motivate myself. A good haul of clothing really gives me motivation. I'm not saying that getting a new haul of clo clothing is going to give you motivation for the rest of your life, but it definitely personally for me spices up my motivation and it makes me want to actually get ready because I have new clothes and I love having a little good clothing haul from time to time. If you are looking to get motivation, it's one it's just one way to do it, okay? Especially going into these last few months of the year when it gets gloomy, buy yourself a couple new pairs of pants or a couple new tops and I swear it'll make you feel a little bit refreshed because it's like you're bringing some new energy in so anyways i want to show you guys a haul because the package just came in the mail but the first thing i did get i'm already wearing because for some reason this came separately like a couple days ago but it's just this long sleeve white boat neck top and i am obsessed with it like this is going to be a new staple in my wardrobe it's super soft i love how it's like a longer length so i can wear it with low rise and i'm obsessed with this neckline it's so trendy and in right now okay first thing i got i am so excited about this because faux fur coats have been so in this season and i have been wanting one for a while now i've had my eye on a few and are you kidding me so I got this one in a size small just because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized because I'm pretty sure it does also come in extra small. But let's just give her a little try on right now. Oh, she is so cute. Oh my gosh. I have been wanting one of these for so long now. I'm so excited to wear this. Just perfect to throw on for dinner to elevate your outfit going out. And it's like a neutral color, so this will match with literally anything. Okay, next thing I got is just this brown tank. These are the garages, what are they called? Sleek Scoop Cami. You guys know I love my Aritzia butter tanks, and these are kind of a cheaper version of that, but the quality is still really good, but it gives you like the same vibe. I am obsessed. It's full length and just like a little brown tank top for around the house because I love wearing tank tops around the house. Winter, summer, doesn't matter. I'm always wearing a tank top. So I actually got three of these different colors just to have new colors for this like time of year. But I love the brown. can wear this with literally anything. And then I got this sweater which i'm super excited about it's kind of like an off the shoulder knit thanksgiving dinner type of vibes throw on a pair of jeans with it so freaking cute and the way that the model was wearing it on the website literally sold me so cannot wait for that it's so fall oh my gosh i literally am so excited i got this loungewear set i actually saw these in store and i took a photo of them and i'm like i'm going to order these because the material is literally skims like the material is the softest thing i've ever felt in my life you guys you need these like you need these loungewear pants i got the navy color because i don't really have anything in this color like this i've got a matching little tank but when i tell you the material is just amazing this is the softest thing you will ever feel in your life go buy this right now because i'm not even kidding you you will thank yourself when you wear this i just want to get a darker color too to give off winter to give off fall i'm so excited to wear this around the house and 
lounge in it because you guys know I love a good lounge for set. And then I got this. Ooh, I'm actually really excited for this one. I got this green, just plain, normal neck long sleeve. I have been wanting a shirt in this color for some time now because like the darker green is so in for this time of the year. Got this in an extra small and the material is so nice. Just like a plain, basic, long, long sleeve. This is just a staple. Garage is such good prices. Like this was only 30 bucks Canadian. So pretty good prices and the quality is there. I love this color, like a good forest green for the fall. So I'm obsessed. And then I got the same um, scoop neck cami, but in a right red just because i don't have anything like it and this would be so cute with like a pair of jeans sweatpants just around the house whatever red is like the color if you guys haven't noticed of the fall everybody's wearing red burgundy it's just so in right now and so i really wanted something red and then i got this long sleeve this is kind of similar vibes to the one that i'm wearing right now but it's in gray i'm just trying to see the difference but no it's kind of basically the same the material is just like diff a little bit different but it's super super soft i love the full length boat neck vibe like you just can't go wrong you can wear this with actually anything this is going to be another one of my staples in my wardrobe now and then i got the same like i said i got this in three colors so this is the last color that i got it in which this is like the in red burgundy color of the fall right now you guys saw that i got my nails earlier i think in september i got my nails this exact color i am just obsessed if somebody were to ask me my favorite color right now it would be this shade of burgundy it's just so hot like for the fall for the winter for christmas she is so in right now and i'm obsessed i'm going to take full advantage of this color i thought this was literally the cutest thing ever it's just another gray basic long sleeve but it's also full length and i love the little buttons and like the v-neck they're back in like this kind of style neckline oh my god this top is so freaking soft i'm already obsessed with it and this will just be another staple i love buying just like basic staples that you can wear and rewear with like different things quality oh my gosh it's so freaking good so will be a new wardrobe staple and then i think this is the last thing that i got basically same vibes as the white one but it's in gray super cute and it's just nice to have like some new knits and i still have some new ones just to refresh my wardrobe for this time of year and as you can see i'm loving this like slouchy neckline and yeah that is my haul i'm so excited to just wear everything i'm gonna put everything on my clothing rack but yeah i will have everything linked down below honestly like i said getting new clothes really just does does it for me with the motivation because i just love myself a good clothing refresh just made my 2024 winter arc board i'm so excited about this because i need this to motivate me and i'm gonna put this as my wallpaper so i can look at it every single day i would definitely recommend making one because this will set the vibe and give you motivation vision boards slash mood boards give me so much motivation and just put it somewhere where you're gonna see it every day and i swear it'll make you so happy and motivated but i'm obsessed like literally this is what i want to encapsulate for the last half of the year um, in my winter arc and i'm so excited so would definitely recommend making one i literally just downloaded a bunch of photos from pinterest put them on canva put them in a collage and that was literally it it's so easy so would recommend to do this i swear it makes a huge difference and even if you want to like print it out and put it on your wall when you wake up so you can see it every day like beside your bed do it because it will help you so much and yeah i'm obsessed and i also love putting little quotes on mine i put rich successful energy and everything happens for a reason Ugh, i love it so much so i just finished reading the seven husbands of evelyn hugo and i thought it was such a good book it kept me entertained the whole time there was like a little bit of a plot twist at the ending and i got really emotional towards it and kind of teaches you a lesson in the book and i really 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 liked it so 
But you know, come in. So I would recommend reading it if you guys haven't already. And I just read it on my iPad. So I need to find a new book. I think I'm going to read The Housemaid by Frida McFadden, I think it's called. I think that's going to be my next read. I'm going to get it on my iPad. So I'm really excited because I've heard really good things about that book. But this is part of my winter arc to just like be in a really good routine of reading. And I'm really excited to just read a lot this winter instead of, like I said, doom scrolling i want to do anything healthier than that so that is the goal so anyways i wanted to come on here to end off this vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching i wanted to give a huge shout out to zlol for sponsoring today's video so don't forget to check out the glasses link down below i hope you guys got some motivation from this winter and want to jump into the winter arc mentality with me because i swear it makes such a big difference for the last half of the year so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.